Hey guys, welcome to an updated GeForce Now settings guide. So, I've been getting comments on my previous videos saying that people are struggling with certain things and I'm basically going to be going over these errors or problems that you guys are facing when it comes to GeForce Now. Um, this goes for priority users or users with the free package. So anyways, let's get straight into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like comment or subscribe if you have enjoyed the video and if these settings did end up helping you reduce your input delay in GeForce Now. So for the first fix what I'll be going into is my GeForce Now and I'll be making changes to the GeForce Now settings. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your GeForce Now on your account. You might be priority or normal. Everything will still look the same like this. You will open the menu at the top left going to settings then what you're going to do is you're going to put your streaming quality from balanced to custom you're going to adjust your bit rate which is basically how much data your game takes from your Wi-Fi every second if that makes sense but anyways you're going to change this to about I play below 14 for South African um, servers I do live in Cape Town and I play on EU Central this is where I get the best like the lowest latency basically um, I stay on standard resolution I keep my clipboard on I have direct mouse input on which is a setting that you must apply in settings but I think that it should be uh, for everybody now I think they've added it into the settings actually um, you could turn on in games graphic settings so when you turn GeForce now off this basically will save your graphics so that will mean if you change from DirectX 11 to DirectX 12 or to performance mode it will stay on that when you log in but unfortunately I have to upgrade to a better package so this will not apply for those who are using the free package or priority this is for only higher packages you will keep your network status off another thing that I also do recommend is going to your uh, streaming quality and under resolution you want to change from it should be 1920 by 1080 but I would prefer using a lower resolution if your internet is slower or cannot deal with um, large bandwidth basically you would switch to 720 it works perfectly for me I get less input delay with 720 actually I think changing from 1080 to 720 will decrease your um, latency as well keep vsync off and adjust for poor network connections you keep off because this will make your quality go haywire if you keep it on so fuck that keep it off so for the next thing we're going to go into the GeForce now on JSON settings so what you can do is you can go on to where your app is installed basically and right click and press open file locations or you can click Windows key and R type in percent app data percent press ok click on app data go to local scroll down until you find NVIDIA corporation no you can do GeForce now sorry and then CEF are going to go on to GeForce now which it says is a dot JSON file over here and you're going to right click click on properties make sure that read only is off so that you can apply changes to the document click apply and ok you're going to open the document now here is way our settings cover this performance mode would normally be set as DX11 dx12 what i recommend typing in settings is dx12 because it's much better than playing on dx11 in performance mode there's no performance mode um, option that you can type into this file to make performance mode let you enter performance mode every time you log into fortnite unfortunately so you have to either use directx12 or directx11 i recommend directx12 um, you are going to go down until you see this which is app HIDPI you're going to set it from false to true mine's already true and you're going to go to streamer 
which is down here we're gonna set it from true uh, from false to true Vsync you can turn from true to false it actually does have a better um, frame rate and less it decreases your latency but I have it on because I prefer a smooth screen and you're going to make sure that resizable is true and the AO HID configurable is true as well after that you can click either file and save over here or you can just exit out and then click save when it prompts you over here after doing so you click on properties click the read only apply and ok now you're going to restart your GeForce Now app and those should be applied so one app that I do recommend you guys should install onto your PC or laptops whatever you're running GeForce Now on is timer resolution I'll have a link in the description so that you can download it but you should set this as an administrator so you're going to click and run as administrator or go into properties so that you can click run uh, compatibility and run this program as an administrator so it always opens as admin it's normally going to be on default which would be a higher value than this and then you set it to maximum so it will go like this to a low value basically this is the that's normally what the resolution is on and then you click minimize you have it minimized and you just run it in your background while playing the game it doesn't take too much memory and it doesn't occupy any of your CPU so you should be good to go our next step we'll be changing our PC power plan from normal or high to ultimate PC performance so what we will need to do is firstly go in the description there will be this command that we will need to insert into our command prompt to get into the command prompt what you will do is type in cmd in your search bar right click on it and run as administrator once you've done this and click yes to allow it you will paste the command in and press enter then it will say this line of code which should give you power uh, ultimate performance a power plan so to check and to change to this power plan what we will do is click the search bar again search power and then edit the power plan should come up at the bottom or well, wherever it is on your PC but it should come up there we will go up one and click the back button button as you can see I already have it um, enabled but here it added again another ultimate performance plan so this will be set here it will normally be on balanced but you'll have to change it to ultimate performance and then you can customize it to make it not turn off if you want to or whatever you want i normally have my one which is turned off never all the settings stay like that but yes um that's So for this next step what we can do is that we can go out of our Fortnite or keep Fortnite running in the background or GeForce Now you can click on 
toss manager on your PC so that your toss manager can open up. Once your toss manager has opened, unfortunately my PC is shit, so I have to wait. Um, once it has opened and you get your GeForce now that's running in the background, what you want to do is you're going to say go to details. Once you click, uh, right click and click go to details. So you click Fortnite, go to details, basically I clicked on the Fortnite GeForce one now and then it will take you to this. What you will want to do is where you see this is occupying your CPU, you're going to take this and set priority to above normal. This will basically prioritize the game so that you have less input delay and all the background apps will be slowed down basically yes so i recommend using this yeah i just recommend using the setting 